Welcome to Hood Politics. In this episode, I will be discussing an incident involving the East Coast Crips and their longtime enemies, the Florencia 13 Gang. The facts of the case are as follows. For over 20 years, the East Coast Crips and the Florencia 13 Gang, also known as F-13, have been bitter rivals. The war started when the East Coast Crips reportedly robbed F-13 for an undisclosed amount of drugs. Shortly afterwards, a Mexican Mafia member and leader of F-13 named Arturo Castellanos, also known as Tablas, reportedly sent a message to F-13 members from his cell in Pelican Bay State Prison. It was wartime. Since then, the East Coast Crips and F-13 have turned the streets into a war zone, a mountain in dozens of murders. With the East Coast Crips being the largest black gang on the east side of Los Angeles, and F-13 being the largest Latino gang on the east side of Los Angeles. It didn't take long for the war to intensify and at times become racial. On April 15, 2005, a member of the East Coast Crips was walking down the street when he was spotted by a group of F-13 members. They flashed gang signs and yelled racial slurs at the East Coast member, who in turn flashed gang signs back and continued walking toward 66th Street. About 15 minutes later, the man returned with another East Coast Crip named Steven Patterson. The two men drew guns and opened fire on the group of F-13 members, hitting Yair Oliva in the face, killing him. The two East Coast Crips then ran back toward 66th Street. A woman named Colleen Enriquez watched a string of events unfold from her home. She was familiar with Steven Patterson and seen him around the area from time to time. Enriquez told police officers that Patterson was one of the gunmen. She also told police where he lived. She would go on to identify Patterson from photographs and ultimately point him out in court. The prosecution's gang expert was a detective named Richard Martinez. Martinez stated that although Patterson didn't have a gang file, his tattoos like 166% East made it clear that he was a member of the 66 East Coast Crips. Ultimately, Stephen Patterson was found guilty in the murder of Yahir Oliva and was sentenced to 50 years to life in prison. It's unclear if the East Coast Crip that was initially involved in the conflict was ever charged. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe.